The plot thickens in the Oprah Winfrey uh, Swiss store clerk case. Now, this was a story where the store clerk in Switzerland refused to let her see a $3,800 crocodile skin handbag. And Oprah was upset about it. She was talking to Entertainment Tonight, and she shared her story. And the woman allegedly told her, that one will cost too much. You won't be able to afford that. Of course, Winfrey was very upset about this, and when she shared her story, it uh, caused a huge ruckus in the media. Now, she is sticking to her story, okay? Even though the store clerk is denying that it went down the way that she says it went down, she's like, no, it's the truth. That's the way it went down. In fact, recently, uh, she, Oprah spoke to a Swiss paper and she said, the woman at the shop said that it was the Jennifer Aniston bag that Tom Ford had created, especially for Jennifer. It crossed my mind that maybe I should give Jennifer or Tom a call. I know both of them very well. Oh, damn. <laughs> she continued to tell the paper, believe me, normally people are excited when I come to their stores. It's very unusual when I'm not practically dragged into a boutique. Dozens of people will be pressing their noses against the windows to get a look at me shopping. Now, Oprah's got to bring it down, man. <laughs> okay, she's losing me. She had me in the beginning, but she's beginning to lose me on this stuff. You know, we once on the story about how if you go into Oprah's uh, home in Hawaii, she's got homes all over the world, of course, uh, that there's these giant pictures of Oprah. Like somebody had gone in and be like, whoa, Jesus, okay. So, and I know what she's saying. Like, like normally she gets a lot of service because she's famous, etc. So this was an unusual situation. Um, but I, I, I might have been a little bit more humble about those quotes. Yeah, she was, um, you know, she wasn't so modest, but she's Oprah, on the other hand. I mean, she's tremendously successful. She continues to say, I don't know any black man who hasn't been uh, stopped or followed by police. Now, the reason why she started talking about race is because she was asked by the reporter, do you think that this situation had to do with race? And to be honest with you, she was like, look, I don't know. There's really no way to tell. But she also followed it up by saying, I don't know any black man who hasn't been stopped or followed by the police at some point because of his skin color, but for women, it's different. What I experienced in Switzerland has only happened to me once before in life. And then she continues, I didn't want to attack Switzerland. It was an isolated incident. The kind of incident that people with black or brown skin have to experience every day. So now one of the controversies that have arisen here are, did Oprah bring this up because she's got a new movie coming out and she wanted the publicity? Anna, thoughts? I think that it's definitely possible, uh, but at the same time, when you look at the Entertainment Tonight interview, it doesn't, I mean, it, she would have to like plant that because she didn't expect uh, the question of racism to come up, but, or maybe you, she no, did. No, if you tell that story, it's gonna come up. And her no, 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 hold on, hold on. Um, the, the reporter or, or whatever, the uh, talent uh, asked her, like, have you experienced racism or something like that? And then she brought up the Switzerland story. So now I know, not, but the movie is about race as well. So Oh, that's true, that's true. So yeah, maybe she did do it for publicity. I don't know, of course there's no I, way to I know. I think the answer might be somewhere in the middle. I think yeah. that she didn't necessarily want to make it a big deal but she's doing press, you know, for the movie. Otherwise, nobody would have even asked her the question. Mm -hmm. And at, she probably knew in the back of her mind, well, this is an interesting story, and it might get some pickup. I don't think that she necessarily consciously thought it, but subconsciously, she's got to know. And then it'll get pressy press. Now, it doesn't mean that she shouldn't have brought it up, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will drop it to see if she's guilty or not. Now, uh, there is a specific issue that we're adjudicating here. Uh, we're not pulling a Rush Limbaugh who says uh, maybe they didn't serve her because she was fat, given the fact that Rush Limbaugh is not necessarily an underweight American. Oh, we found that to be an ironic comment. Uh, and O'Reilly saying, oh, look, I'm with you, I'm with you. You know, I think it was terrible, and there's uh, troglodytes doing the racism, etc. But just get beyond it and never mention it again. So the specific question we have is, do you think she did it for publicity? Okay, do you think she did it for publicity? Uh, yes or no, go to theyoungturks.com, curious what you think. J.R. Jackson, go. I'm gonna go with no. No. Uh, two re well, hmm. two reasons. Um, one, she, uh, this isn't the kind of attention you'd get for telling the story. She has to understand what the racial tone is in America lately with after Trayvon, with uh, Barack Obama in office and speaking out and the, the anger that's centered around all this from both sides. It's not going to get you much where people are going to say, man, fucking Oprah, race card, can't believe this. I'm going to go see her movie. 
No, it's this, <laughs> it's not a very good idea if you're looking to rob people up that may not like what you have to say and then hope they go see your movie. She no, figures no. as a segment of her fan base, generally maybe some black women, because that's her whole audience. Of I mean, there's lots of women, but I mean, like as far yeah, as if you're riling right. up racial tensions or something on purpose, they're gonna go see a movie anyway. If you're trying to get some crossover audience, this is not the way to go. No, no, that that seems like a really good point. But on the other hand. L- the biggest problem movies have is in is people being aware of them, right? That's why they do all that marketing, they spend all that advertising dollars. So I, I so many more people know about the movie now that everybody's discussing this, yeah. right? It so, reminds me of the Chick Fil A controversy and how sales went up for them because mm-hmm. of the controversy. Like, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Right. Um, well, unless you're Michael Jackson or Paula Deen, but still. Yeah. Uh, Jesus, thoughts? I'm gonna go with no as well. Just it just feels like a bit of a stretch as far as like presenting that story now and setting it up probably in yeah. before that. It just seems. You know, you know what's ironic? You guys have swung me to yes. <laughs> okay. I, I, I want to say kind of because of the reasons I explained earlier, but uh, the Young Turk Supreme Court either has guilty or not guilty. We don't do nuance here, okay? There's no kind of. So I'm voting yes. I think subconsciously she did do it for the publicity. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean that she shouldn't have brought it up. I think it's perfectly fine to bring it up. I think it's a real issue and people can learn from it, right? So I don't blame her for it, but I think she was secretly thinking like, uh, this is a story that people will not ignore. Mm. Thoughts, go, final vote. I unfortunately have to abstain. I feel that this case lacks the proper evidence necessary to make a proper judgment. When has a Young Turk Supreme Court case ever had the proper evidence? <laughs> we always judge based on totally you know, insufficient and improper evidence, I rule you out of order. Okay, so nonetheless, I lose, yes? All right, I'm gonna go with not guilty. Okay, I was gonna lose either way, fine, three to one, yeah. uh, not guilty. So I want you to vote at the youngturks.com, but your vote will be irrelevant, okay? We have already lost this matter, sad day for anybody who thought she was guilty, but nonetheless, have fun, vote, I do care what you think, it just won't affect the ruling. I'm keeping it real. <laughs>